<clears throat> I literally feel like it's been weeks since I've even done a video and I think it's only been like three days but I am so fucking exhausted my legs feel like they're gonna fall off mostly my shins my bottom part my feet are so fucked um so today is Monday and I started my job Friday. Now, technically I told you guys my first day was gonna be Sunday, but they had a call off on Saturday and then Friday there was like a banquet hall thing. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but it almost looked like where you'd have a baby shower in like the 80s type room. I don't know, it was really, like it was just the way that it looked. Um, and it was fine, so basically it was for a funeral and the only thing that I had to do Friday was get drinks and stuff like that. It wasn't anything crazy and then um, I was behind the bar a little bit. Now it's not a very big, it's not like, not a lot of younger people go there. It's like an Irish bar and it's like everybody who owns a leather jacket and a motorcycle pretty much goes there. It's really chill. Um, it's Friday was like nothing, you know, so then I get there Saturday and I go in at six and for me basically my job is we have one of those handhelds I think a lot of restaurants have it now it's a handheld you take the order on it and it sends it to the kitchen you know so it's not difficult it's not a big place but my body literally like whenever I start anything new I just get nervous like no matter what I can be totally calm but my body's just like we're gonna make this as uncomfortable as humanly possible so as soon as I get there um, I meet up with the lady that's training me and it's funny because the woman that's training me went to high school with my mom they used to be friends and it's much nicer that it was like you know I, I feel less intimidated if it's like an older person because you make it feels more like welcoming and I would have been so like this would have been way 10 times more embarrassing if it was somebody my age training me or younger um so we went up to a table that was already there they already had they already had their drinks but they were ready to order so I'm holding the handheld and I for some reason, I just start shaking, and it's kind of heavy to get used to holding it, so you have to hold it. Everything's really small, and it was like a table of six people, so my hand's like this, I'm telling you, and then I'm, well, I'm trying to look for the button. I look, I probably look insane, and it just made me want to cry. I literally wanted to just hand her the iPad and go cry, but I like went through it, and I guess the table was like making fun of me kind of to her. They were like, oh, what's wrong, because I heard her say it's her first day, you know? And they weren't really mean. I guess it was just obvious that I was shaking so bad. But for me, it's more of like if somebody is standing over me watching. You know what I mean? So that went horrible. And I had to pee. And the light would not turn on in the bathroom. So I was getting drinks. And then I just told her, I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. So I went in there and my hands are like this. like, And I'm trying to calm myself down as fast as I can. But if you guys have anxiety or panic attacks, you know that it usually takes a minute to chill. So I just had to go out there and shake through it literally but then the next table I went to take by myself and they were as nice as could be and it was funny because they were talking about a restaurant that I had previously worked at so we were talking about that and everything was totally fine every person that ended up leaving they were like you know you're doing a great job everything you know so it made me feel better but yeah once I started taking orders by myself it was easier um there's still kinks that you know aren't whenever you first start somewhere it's always it always feels shitty to fuck up but I'm saying like I, my feet hurt so bad and I've always had jobs where I, you know, I'm on my feet all day, but I thought I had to dress up. Well, literally I could have worn like an oversized sweater and leggings. You just can't wear tennis shoes and jeans. Okay. I don't have that though. I don't have, you know, I literally have like throw on t-shirts and I have like interview outfits and I do have some dresses. So for the first two days I wore pantyhose, a like um, knee length, high-waisted black skirt and a tank top tucked into it and like a cardigan. So, I, you know, whatever, but the shoes, the flat shoes that I have on a hardwood floor running around constantly, like, the first day it really wasn't that bad. The second day I was like, oh, fuck, like, I had blisters on my feet. Both of my pinky toes had blisters on them because these flats, I don't know where they are. These flats are, you know, like, they, have you guys ever gone, like, roller skating and then after you take them off, your, your toenails feel like they're bruised, like, if you barely touch them, they're so tender? Sunday I was fucking shot and yesterday um and was super bowl sunday so but we didn't really get that busy for that there was a band i like the band but it's an even smaller place with this loud ass band and it's all older people i can't hear a goddamn thing that they're saying to me i only fucked up one order i gave a sandwich to one guy and one guy got another sandwich. nobody complained though so it really wasn't bad um yeah i mean i don't know it and it's, it's a slow place you know i didn't make a whole bunch of money but i don't get paid for the banquet until I get my paycheck, I don't think. And um, I don't know. I'm just scrambled because I'm so tired. So hopefully, and I'm, I really don't want to be complaining like this. 
since it's usually just like a two day a week, but that's all I can manage. Like I can't running around like that is fucking absolutely insane. And I think it's just because like, I mean, my body will get used to it, but it was just odd hours. So Friday when I went in, I had to be there at one and then I got off at around seven um, because I really had to just stay for the banquet. And then Saturday I was there from six to 11, but see, I still woke up at like noon and I've been on my period all weekend. Um, I started on Friday. So, you know, that was great or Saturday, but so I was already exhausted from that. And my, with my eating, I normally eat at like five in the afternoon because that's when I get hungry. It's just like how I naturally am now. So whenever I went into work, I literally wasn't eating for like 24 hours. Like I would come home and I would eat at like, I would have one meal at one o'clock in the morning and I wouldn't eat again the next day until I got off work, you know? So like for the past three days, I've literally been like sleeping and running around. So I've had no energy at all, which is not good, you know? And it's like, it sucks too. Um, cause how my body is a lot before I start, I get really hungry for a week. It's almost like a bear going into hibernation. And then once I'm on it, I feel so full and bloated. I don't really want to eat, but and whenever you go into a certain state when you haven't already eaten for so long, I get past the stage of hunger where I just like nothing sounds good. You know what I mean? Like nothing sounds good. So it sucks. So today I've just been chilling, bleeding out. That's nice. But I mean, that's what I've been doing. Um, and it sucks. Like I'm excited for tomorrow because we have that concert. Uh, me and my friend and her two sisters, we're going to go see Panic at the Disco. Um, and I think it starts at 7. But I'm just like, fuck, my feet are killing me. And I'm on my period. Uh, but I'm like, whatever. Like, we just want to have a good time. You know, I think we'll have fun with that. <sighs> I've just been kind of, uh, like, I still, I get, like, I, get, I think with everybody, when you start a new job, you have, like, dreams about it. And you get, like, fucking anxiety. And um, hopefully, since it's, like, such a small schedule that it is for me, I really hope so. Because it is nice going home with money every night. Granted, it's not a lot, but it's still something to take home. Um, I just hope that I can stick with it and that I like it. I, I don't want, I don't want it to get the best of me. I don't want to have like a really bad night and because I am new. I mean, like, people just have to get over that. Like for real, like if something fucks up, it's like I, I did, I think I did for being so new. I don't think I did bad. Um, it's just, it's like, exhausting and it's funny because we you know now I that's what my best friend does she's a waitress so whenever we talk I'm sure she's like bitch I've been doing this for six years like shut up but it's just a little bit different um bar kind of like getting drinks because it's like I don't know it's a lot I'm just I'm just so fucking tired I don't know if we're gonna do anything tonight I kind of did want to chill with her we chilled last night but she picked me up from work at nine o'clock um and then we went over to her friend's house and sat and chilled there. And I think I got home probably at like one or two ish. I walked home because it's literally like down the block <clears throat> and I couldn't wait anymore to like stay. I was just like, I'm tired. I have to eat something and go to bed. Um, but that's just how videos a bit. I mean, I, I obviously just wanted to get this up tonight. Just to give you guys kind of an update. So it's going well. I just kind of, I'm a little bit anxiety right now. Um, I don't really have much to say bad about it I'm just dealing with some shit right now like it's so fucking petty and stupid and I hate being a girl sometimes because I just hate the way our like everything was like at once like it's not even that big of a big information that I found out it's really like I, I'm the way I'm talking it sounds like it's really something but whenever you hear something petty and stupid like that then on top of starting a new job then you, you know starting your period so you're already like PMSing and then you have to think about like what well, not that I really dwelled on it at work whatsoever because I'm just like fuck this shit I'm here to make money like fuck your feelings for real you know what I mean um I don't do that shit anymore I used to get so butthurt like whenever um and it has nothing to do with Matthew but you know like the one of the worst things in the world is finding out information and this didn't happen but at my old jobs like finding out information like finding out you got cheated on while you're at work because you can't leave <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you could, but whatever. And that's not really the, this case, but I'm just saying like in general, getting like bad news at work to where you can't leave is so, so awful. And I have been reading comments and about the Ted Bundy thing and I appreciate it. I just, I, I've been out so fucking tired. But yeah, I did accomplish. I did uh, two loads of lunch today and I showered and I slapped some makeup on my face because I don't know if I'm doing anything. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you guys liked the Super Bowl. I didn't even watch the halftime show. Like, 
I, well, I was at work, but I, I couldn't hear it. Um, I don't know. I love you guys very much. I know. I'm feel I'm like nauseous and just like, I could probably pass back out, but I will see you guys soon.